All right, we're gonna go ahead and get moving. I'm Rachel Peters, physical therapist at Agile Physical Therapy. For any of you who don't know me, welcome and happy Monday. We're gonna be doing some full body stretches for the next 30 minutes. And uh, if you don't already have it, you're gonna to wanna to grab an exercise mat or a towel that you can orient horizontally so you can see what we're doing while we stretch um, during class. We're gonna be using a variety of positions. We'll start in standing. We'll work through hands and knees, in which case you might want a cushion or a towel to put under your knees to give you a little bit of padding. Um, and we'll be doing some work seated and cross-legged. Um, I'll give you a couple of options when we're there. You also might want that cushion to put on your mat if you feel like you need a little bit of height as you sit. But let's go ahead and get moving. We're gonna start just in front of our mats with our feet about shoulder width apart. And I'm gonna step back so you guys can see me as we do this. We're gonna take just a couple of deep breaths here, maybe closing our eyes and sinking down into that floor. Take a few deep breaths in and out. As you inhale, think about letting your belly come forward and your lungs come out to the side, pressing those ribs out towards your arms. Letting you get as much air as you can in as you inhale. And then as you exhale, we're gonna let ourselves sink down into the floor a little more firmly. Let's take another big breath in. We'll take our arms up overhead and we'll exhale them down. Inhale, arms up and over. Exhale them down. And again, big breath in. Exhale them down. And one more time. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down by our sides. We're gonna go ahead and take those feet a little wider. We can point them out to the sides just a little more. We'll soften up those knees a bit too. And let's take one hand down to your thigh. We'll mermaid stretch over to that side, dropping the forearm down, maybe bending the elbow a little bit. Take it back up. Inhale, exhale over side bend. Inhale up tall. Exhale over side bend. Inhale up top. Exhale over side bend. Inhale up tall. Let's do one more time to each side. Taking a nice long bend, reaching those fingertips up to where the wall in the corner meets before coming up to the center. And we'll take one more exhaling over to the opposite corner of the room. And inhale up tall. We're gonna go ahead and roll our shoulders back and down a few times. Nice big circles, maybe letting those elbows go along the right a little bit. And we'll switch and go the other direction. Go ahead, come to a standing position that's most comfortable for you right now. We'll roll those shoulders backward one more time for good measure to get ourselves up nice and tall. And then let's go ahead and turn and look over one shoulder and we'll take it back to the center and the other side and center and go ahead and keep moving through at your own pace we're trying to find a comfortable range of motion it's still a bit early it's still a bit monday so find a range you can move through comfortably and as we go through a few more repetitions maybe you can take it a little bit farther to one side and a little farther to the other let's go ahead and look over each shoulder one more time And now we'll go ahead and look forward and let's tip an ear to a shoulder, maybe dropping that opposite hand down a little closer to the floor to get a little more stretch between that ear and the side of your shoulder. We'll take it up and then side bend the other way. And lift and side bend and lift and side bend. Let's come back to the center and this time we'll side bend ear to shoulder and then rotate your face down, look toward that shoulder, maybe toward the edge of where your collarbone folds into the side of the shoulder there. We'll rotate the head forward again and come up tall. Same thing to the other side, ear to shoulder, rotate that face down, look forward and take it up. And side bend, look down, take it forward and up. One more time to the other side. Take it down. We'll side bend 
and take it back up. Let's take those hands back behind the body. I'm clasping my hands back, grabbing one with the other. You could grab your wrist. You can hold on to both wrists. Depends on how flexible you're feeling right now. We're just gonna hold those hands there and squeeze your blades together. Just a little squeeze. Maybe getting into the front of those chest muscles a little. Maybe if you have a little more flexibility, you could straighten out your elbows a little bit, which will take those shoulder blades and squeeze them a little farther behind the back. We're gonna hold them there. Squeezing those blades, maybe we pulse the hands up and back a little bit more. Maybe just pulse a little. Keep that going. And then we're going to hold that squeeze there. And again, just tip the head side to side. We're taking a lot of slack out of the system by putting those hands behind your back. So you may find that you have a little less range when you go this way. It's okay. Play around with it, see where you are. Maybe try to stretch later on today after you've been sitting at your keyboard for a bit. We'll look side to side, same thing. Get a little different angle of pull when those arms are behind your back. Let's take them back to the middle. We'll shake out those arms, maybe roll them out in circles a little bit more. And then let's bend those elbows to 90 degrees. And we're gonna rotate those palms out and then take them back to the center. Rotate, send your breastbone up to the ceiling a little bit and take them back to the center. Rotate and open and center. Rotate and open and center. We could make that movement a little bit bigger, opening up the arms to a T shape, and then we pull them back to the middle. We can open up, pull them back to the middle. One more time here and pull. Last time here. Pull them back to the center. We're going to add a little bit of a leg movement. Feel free to stay still if you want to. If you want to make this a little bit more active, we can move into an asterisk stretch. We take a step forward into a little staggered lunge. Take the hands down by the sides and we step back to the middle. The second part of our asterisk, we step out to a T and come back to the middle. Then we step up to a Y or a high V and take it back to the middle, switching our legs. We'll stay low V and center. T and center and Y and center. Let's go through one more set on each side. Again, it's perfectly fine to be standing still. We just add a little bit of an active component by adding that lunge. Last time through on the other side, step to low V and center, step to the T and center. Complete that asterisk with our Y. We'll take it back to the center. Let's go ahead and take those feet apart again, a little wider than our shoulders. We'll take one more big breath in, clasping the palms and taking them up to the ceiling. Drop those blades down. We'll take one more tall side bend each side before stretching back up to the ceiling and bringing our arms down and around. We're gonna stretch the backs of the arms down, getting into those shoulder blades just a bit, keeping the elbows straight. We're gonna cross the arm over the body. Keep it about at shoulder height. You can always play around with your angle a little bit if you're not feeling much with the side of the arm. Make sure to drop that shoulder away from your ear. And we'll switch. Opposite arm Stay straight at the elbow. We cross it over. And take a few big breaths. And we'll switch it again. As you inhale, you might notice that you get a little bit bigger stretch through the back of the arm, maybe even down into the back of that shoulder blade. As those ribs open up, they will press on those soft tissues a little bit, stretching them out a little bit for you. One more time, big breath in here. And we'll exhale, bringing those arms down by the sides, shaking them out a bit. We're gonna bend one elbow to 90 degrees, taking that hand to your shoulder. We'll use the other hand to draw that elbow up until you feel maybe a little stretch under the arms, maybe a little stretch through your triceps. We could pull that arm up through a comfortable range. If you have any issues with the tops of your shoulder, please respect your shoulder. We're going for a stretch, but it should be comfortable and it should be through that back of the arm. If you want to build on this a bit, we could do a side bend. Taking a breath there and then coming back up to the ceiling. Bring that arm down and let's switch it up. We'll bend that other hand up to your shoulder, taking that elbow up to a comfortable end range there, maybe adding that side bend for a breath or two. 
before coming up tall. And let's go ahead and switch. We'll do one more time on each side. Hand to shoulder, bringing that elbow up. Maybe we take that side bend for a breath. Bring it up. And we'll switch through one last time. Hand to shoulder, elbow up. Take that side bend. Lift it up. And those arms come down. Again, we'll roll those shoulders back and down, resetting ourselves in that upright position. And we'll stretch out those forearms, get you ready for your keyboards. Let's take one hand up with elbows straight. We'll bring that hand up to shoulder height and then tip your fingertips down toward the floor. That palm is facing away from your screen. We can give a little overpressure to the back of the hand. And we could wiggle it side to side a bit to find the stretch that feels most effective for that back part of your forearm. Again, shoulders are nice and relaxed as we wiggle through a bit. And let's switch arms, opposite side comes up, hand to shoulder height. Press those fingertips down toward the floor with that palm facing away from your screen. And wiggle it around a little, find that sweet spot where you get the stretch. Switch it again. We'll take a few breaths here on each side, moving it around a bit. And last time to the other hand. Find that sweet spot, big breath in. Breathe it out, shake those hands out and we'll switch. We'll take that arm straight out, palm facing the ceiling first. We tip those fingertips down now with that palm facing your screen. Maybe give it a little overpressure. Maybe wiggle it around a little bit. Hang here for a breath. Switch it up. Other side, palm faces the screen, elbows straight as you can get it. Gentle pressure through that palm. A little gentle rotation. And let's go ahead and switch it up one more time to each side. Palm faces the screen, fingers are down. If that motion is too much rotation for you, you're always welcome to have your palm facing out and those fingertips facing the ceiling as well. Let's go ahead and switch it up one more time. Palm down or fingertips up. Find that sweet spot. Give it one more little stretch with a big breath in. And on the exhale, we'll go ahead and take those arms down. Roll those shoulders back one more time. And we're going to go ahead and make our way down to the floor, down to hands and knees. Again, if you need a rolled towel or cushion to put under your knees, now's a good time to do that. We're going to make our way down to that all fours position. We want to start here with those wrists and shoulders lined up, knees and hips lined up. So the arms are vertical and the upper thighs are vertical as well. Your goal here also position wise would be get the back of your head, your middle back, and your sacrum, that very top part of that lower back, uh, landing into your pelvis, that area is gonna, those areas are gonna be as level as you can get it. You could be up on your fists. You could also be back a little farther if you need to take pressure off your shoulders. Wherever you are here, we're gonna challenge that base of support a little bit. We're gonna rock. We're gonna take ourselves forward and back. Find a range where you could balance something in the small of your back. This should feel good, just a little rocking motion. We're nowhere near any ranges yet. We're pushing the heels and the hands into the mat and then pulling the heels and the hands. Push away from your bottom and the knees, pull toward those knees. We can make that motion a little bigger if you're comfortable doing so. Again, we're trying to keep that trunk still enough that you could balance something on it. Let's take it right back up to the center, the vertical arms and thighs, and push the floor away with your hands as we rock toward your screen and away from your screen. Again, same idea, we wanna keep whatever was balanced in the small of your back nice and still. We can make some circles around that base of support as well. Moving in a clockwise direction. Maybe going in a counterclockwise direction as well. Last circle here, we'll come right back up to that starting hands and knees position for a little cat and cow or cat and camel stretch. We're going to draw the belly up toward the spine, maybe curling a bit through that low back, tucking that tailbone between your legs. 
you could look down towards your thighs. And then we reverse the curve. Let's go the other direction. Tailbone to the ceiling. We'll take it forward for a kind of a U shape in the back. And let's go ahead and go back and forth through a range that feels comfortable at your own speed here. You want to picture a little bit of space between each vertebra in your spine as you go. That'll keep that stretch nice and even. It'll get all those little joints between your vertebrae, between your vertebrae and your ribs, between your ribs and each other. It'll get everything moving a bit. We'll come right back to that mid-range neutral position. Wag your tail. Take a hip to a shoulder. Hold yourself in half. And switch. Take it side to side. You're making a little C curve with your back, your head, and your pelvis. If we turn toward the screen, that same side shoulder and hip are coming toward each other. Take that opposite foot, cross it over your body. Look toward that foot. Get a little bigger stretch on the other side. Unwind and let's go the other direction. Cross that near foot over. Looking over your shoulder. Let's go ahead and go one more time to each side, maybe adding that crossover. And then last time to the other side. We'll take it right back to the middle. You're welcome to get your weight off your hands for a second if you need to shake them out. And we'll move into thread the needle. We're going to keep ourselves up on all fours. The arm farthest from your screen is going to come out to the side. Start with it just parallel to the floor. See if you have any more range. You could open that arm up towards your wall. Look over that shoulder. And then we're going to reach that hand through between your opposite hand and your knee. Reach it toward the screen. Breathing in, we'll take it up and out. And exhaling, thread it through. Reach it up and out. Exhale it through. One more time. Reach it up and out. Exhale, reach it through. We'll take that hand back to our original starting position. We'll take that arm closest to your screen out to the side. Breathe it in, follow it up, and thread it through. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, stretch it through. You are always welcome to have that arm a little bent if it feels better to open it up and kind of fold it. One more time here, reach it up and out. And stretch it through. Let's take it right back to the middle. We're gonna stand hands and knees and try one more stretch for the back of the shoulder, similar to thread the needle, but we're gonna add a little bit of a, a downward motion to it. We're gonna reach that far arm through towards your screen. Bend your supporting elbow a little bit. Drop that shoulder toward the floor. Again, find a comfortable range here. We'll press ourselves back to hands and knees and switch it up. That near arm comes through. We bend your supporting elbow, dropping that shoulder toward the floor. Take it back up. Let's do one more here on each side. Stretch it through, sliding that shoulder down toward the floor. Take it back up. And the last time, reach that arm away from your screen. Take it back up to hands and knees. We're gonna bring our feet together, knees a bit apart. Draw your bottom down towards your heels. Again, find a range that's working for you, knee-wise, hip-wise, and shoulder-wise. We walk those hands forward. Maybe that bottom comes down towards your heels. Maybe those armpits come a little closer to the floor. Maybe your forehead even comes down. Take a breath in here and feel how your ribs and your upper back expand a bit. They come out to the sides, maybe up toward the ceiling a bit as you breathe in. Breathing out here, let's walk our hands toward the screen. One hand on top of the other, breathe into that long side that's stretching, where you're stretching away from. Breathing out, we can move those hands over to the other side. One hand on top of the other. Breathe into that side closest to your screen. We'll exhale. And let's take our hands right back to the middle, right back for one more big breath here in that child's pose type position. And as we breathe out, let's go ahead and turn on our sides. We're gonna go ahead and face the screen here. Bottom knee comes forward so it's lined up with your pelvis. We're gonna hang on to that top leg. If you can't reach it, no big deal. Maybe you grab your shoe. Maybe you have a sweatshirt nearby that you could put around and tie around like a, a loop. We're gonna 
pull that top leg, keeping it parallel to the floor as much as possible. We're gonna to try to keep that heel towards your bottom and push that thigh back toward the wall behind you. If this is enough stretch, hold it right here. Otherwise we could straighten out that bottom leg a bit, give ourselves almost like a little hurdler stretch. We'll take one more breath in here. On the exhale, we'll bend up that bottom knee if it's been straight. Take that top foot down, meeting the bottom leg. Top arm is gonna stretch forward and we're gonna open the book. We're gonna take that hand to the ceiling and then leading with your blade, we'll bring that arm back toward the wall behind you. Inhale up and we'll exhale forward. Inhale up to the ceiling, exhale it back. Inhale to the ceiling. Let's take it forward. We're gonna go around the world once before we turn onto our backs. We're gonna take that top hand down by the side, palm facing the ceiling. We're gonna open up that shoulder blade behind you. Take that arm up in a nice circle. Swing it forward, bring it down to the side. We'll reverse the direction. Arm comes forward to the ceiling. Open up that blade, taking your chest toward the ceiling. And that arm circles behind you and comes forward. Let's go ahead and turn onto our backs. Knees are bent, feet are lined up with your hips. We're gonna cross that leg closest to the screen, bringing that top knee to the far, or top ankle to the far knee. We're gonna press that leg out to the side a bit to get into those hip openers. And if you need to deepen that stretch, we pull the other leg into the ceiling, maybe rocking it side to side a bit. Come back to the middle. We're going to keep a hold of the other leg, keeping it bent. We're going to slide that near leg down onto the floor. Hold it there. Pull that opposite knee across your body, getting into that opposite hip opener a bit. We'll take it back to the middle. Reverse your grip, hanging on behind that thigh, and we'll wiggle that knee and that ankle a bit, coming up into a hamstring stretch. We could flex and point. We could turn that leg in and out a little bit, giving that hip a little wiggle. We're gonna hold that there, bending up that supporting knee. We'll cross that far ankle to your near knee, and now we'll push that opposite thigh out to the side. We can hold it there. We can deepen that stretch by pulling that opposite knee in and rocking it side to side. Hold it there for another breath. We'll keep a hold of that near knee. We're gonna unwind the leg, slide that far leg down along the mat, nice and straight. And we'll wiggle that near leg side to side, getting into that glute that's close to your screen, just a little bit differently this time. Pulling it back to the middle, reverse that grip, hang on behind your thigh, and we'll wiggle that knee and that ankle toward our hamstring stretch. We could pause that foot. We could wiggle that leg in and out, rotating through that hip a little bit. Let's go ahead and bend up that supporting leg. We'll pull both knees into the chest. We're gonna to turn to our side, come up nice and tall, and we'll make our way over to our other side to stretch that other quad and do some open books. That bottom knee stays bent, right at the hip height. We're gonna hang on to that top ankle foot or strap, whatever you got, keeping that thigh parallel to the floor. We're gonna pull back into a bit of a quad stretch. If you do wanna deepen this, you could squeeze that top glute a little bit, letting that top heel press back toward the wall. We could deepen it a bit by stretching that bottom leg forward a little bit for a hurdler's position. We hold for another breath. Let's bend that bottom knee back up. We'll take that top knee on top of the bottom leg, stretch that top arm forward. We'll open the book, take that arm to the ceiling, open it back, breathe it up to the ceiling and take it forward. Lift it up, take it back, up to the ceiling, take it forward. We're gonna take it around the world by bringing that arm down by the side, palm facing up. Take that scapula, top shoulder blade comes back to the floor, and we circle that arm. Take it through a range that's working for you. 
We'll bring it back around and forward. And we'll reverse it. Let's take that arm up and overhead. Again, find a range that's working. We'll flip the palm toward the ceiling. Open up that shoulder blade to the floor. Circle that arm around. And we'll bring it forward. Let's come up to sitting. We're going to cross our legs. If this is not a comfortable position for you, you could grab your cushion, put it underneath your bottom so you're up a little higher. You also could find a chair to sit in if it's really not comfortable for you to be on the floor with the legs out in front, here, or crossed. Regardless, we're going to sit up tall on our sit bones. Picture the rib cage coming up off of your pelvis. That breastbone is going to be right in line with your sit bones, so you might feel like you're forward a little bit. And then the string at the crown of your head is going to be drawing all the way up toward the ceiling. From here, we'll take those arms out to the side. Take a big breath in. As we exhale, we'll side bend, bringing one forearm toward the mat and stretching that arm up and over. Let's take it up nice and tall and we'll switch it up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend. Maybe we add a little rotation by turning that breast limb down toward the floor. We take it back to the front, come up nice and tall. Exhale, side bend. Let's rotate a little bit if you're comfortable doing so. Come back to the side. We'll come up nice and tall. One more time to each. We'll side bend. Rotate looking down. Rotate back to the front and take it up. Last time, side bend and rotate. Side bend. Take it up nice and tall. And let's roll those shoulders back and down a couple more times. And when you're ready, we're gonna turn ourselves to hands and knees. We're gonna come up toward a downward dog. You're welcome to come through a plank. Once those legs are straight, we take that tailbone to the ceiling, drop those heels to the floor, and see if we can line our elbows and ears up. Hold it there. You're welcome to stay on hands and knees and work through a few more cats and cows if this position doesn't feel super great on your shoulders, on your back, or anywhere. We're gonna drop those heels to the floor one more time if we're here. We're gonna walk ourselves all the way back up to standing. Drawing that belly in for a little support. And once we're up to standing, we're gonna roll the shoulders back a couple more times and go ahead and face front. We'll finish with a couple of our dynamic stretches that we've been doing for the last few classes. We're gonna step forward, just in front of our mat, feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're gonna step back to a lunge, dropping the heel down toward the floor. Take the arm on the same side as your straight leg all the way up to the ceiling. We can lengthen slightly over, just until you feel a little pull through the front of that pelvis and hip flexor. We come up nice and tall. We're going to take our hands down toward a runner's lunge if that feels good. Otherwise, we stay right up in our normal lunge. We're going to open up the arm on that bent leg side. We'll take the hands back to the floor. Bring the knees together in front. Come up nice and tall. Let's take it back. Drop your heel. Straight leg side arm comes up. Take a side bend, take it up, hands to the floor. Open up the arm on that bent knee side. Take it down to the mat, feet together, come up tall. One more time through on each, step it back, arm comes up, lengthen over, come up tall. Hands down for runner's lunge. Fold that arm up, take it back down, step in front of your mat, take it up tall. One more time on the other side, heel down, arm comes up, lengthen it over, reach to the ceiling, hands come down, bend knee side, arm comes up, take it to the floor, step it forward, We'll come up nice and tall. Shake those legs out a little bit. Let's come back onto our mat. We'll take those feet a little wider than our shoulders, toes pointing out. Let's go ahead and take a couple big breaths in. Exhaling arms down. 
One more time, big breath in. Let's clasp those palms, reaching them up to the ceiling and dropping our blades down to the floor. We'll take a tall side bend over, lengthen up to the ceiling with an inhale and exhale it over to the other side. Inhale up tall, arms come down, feet together. Take one more big breath in. With those palms together, we'll bring it in toward the breastbone. And thank you so much for waking up with me on Monday morning. I know it's early. And um, as always, welcome feedback, suggestions, questions, uh, and any particular areas anyone's interested in learning a little bit more about how to stretch, I am happy to incorporate what I can into my classes. My email is pt, oops, excuse me, Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, at agilept.com, A-G-I-L-E-P-T.com. Looking forward to hearing from you guys and seeing you next time. Have a good one.